gonna be another Harlem storm. Harlem. Yeah. Uh huh. Said you did it, but have you ever lived it? Say you could take a punch, but can you give it? Can you see shit and mind your business? Bullets flying, oh, that's how you living? See shit without snitching? Forget what you seen like old pictures? Can you take pain and not yell? Get your own shit in your own... Yo, Harlem Storm back again. It ain't all good, and it damn sure ain't all easy. Prison stories from a female point of view. Now when you go in prison, you know the first thing they do is they give you a shower, they ask you to cough and squat and this and that. They look up your butt, they look up in your mouth and all that kind of stuff. So you got any false teeth, you got to take them out. Okay. They want you to squat low and if they don't like you, they go through this whole routine. They go through this like twice, okay? Like, you know, the times that I've been in and out of jail and prison, you know, I always have the kind of expression on my face where I'm giving them all a dirty look, <laughs> you know? Uh, inmates, convicts, whatever you want to call them, uh, COs, prison guards, I got my game face on, like I'm pissed off. I don't want to be here, okay? I'm worried about my sentence, okay? Ain't got no bail right now, so who can I call, okay? So basically, I'm looking mad and evil. So the officers are going to put me through this extra hard, you know, like twice, cough, and squat. See what I mean? Because when you first come in, they're trying to size you up just like you're trying to size up everybody else. Okay? You better be trying to size up everybody else because the only person that's got your back as soon as you go into prison or jail is you. You're the only one that got your back. Okay? So that means, what does that mean? That means you got to be prepared for anything to go down at any given moment. Okay, to expect the unexpected. Okay, that's what that means. Okay, so I'm looking all mean, you know, and, and frustrated and angry. And the officer's going to make me go through this twice. When you cough and squat, if there's anything up your butt, it's probably going to come out. Okay, when you cough, obviously, something probably may come out too. Okay. The tricks that I learned, okay, from the old timers that were in and out of prison like all the time was to basically swallow balloons, okay? Swallow balloons, you wait a day or two to shit it out, okay, whatever. They did that because the sale of drugs in prison is, is four times, five times as much as it is on the street, okay? So that's a viable income, you know, for some people that are in prison or jail, you know what I mean? Especially Rikers Island. Rikers Island is like <laughs> just, you know, a candy store with drugs, okay? They got psychotropic medication for the, for the mentally ill, you know? They got... Uh, medication to sleep, they got methadone, they got spit back, they got drugs that are coming in, okay? If you're bringing drugs inside of prison, the best kind to bring in more than likely is probably pills. Why do I say that? Because if you wrap up the pills really, really good and you put it in a balloon, it's not, you know, has, doesn't have a chance of like melting. Like you put cocaine in, 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 in some tin foil and it gets too warm, that's the end of your, that's the end of your cocaine. It's gonna, it's gonna totally dissolve and turn into liquid. You know what I mean? Um, even if you have it in, not inside of a, of a 
body cavity, if you have it even in your pocket in tin foil, uh, if it gets too hot, it's just, it's done. Okay, so in my book, that's just my opinion now, you know, pills is the best thing to basically, you know, I'd say smuggle in, okay? When you cough, you can suppress, you can fake a cough, okay? Like you don't have to cough real deep like you got bronchitis, you know, like, ah, all right? You can just kind of go like, <coughs> <coughs> and do it twice, you know, to make it look real believable, like, <coughs> okay? In the meantime, what you have done to prepare for that cough, okay, is have your drugs packaged in plastic, like saran wrap, really super, super tight, okay? Two, have a plastic bag type plastic, not the type that's like saran wrap. The saran wrap is the first level. Okay, the second level is regular plastic bag, like 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 a baggie or a cleaner's bag. That worked perfect, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take a regular needle and thread. You're going to you're going to puncture it after you have it all tightened up, all 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 wound up tight like like the shape of a bullet, okay? You're going to try to tie a tight knot, okay? And in the bottom of the knot, you're going to take the needle and thread, okay? The thread is doubled, okay? If you can, get wax thread, okay? They come in white also, white, black. I think it's black and white, okay? Um, when you tie that, okay, you're going to have it maybe about, Eh, maybe about a foot, foot and a half in length. Okay? So when you swallow it, okay, goes down. Okay, it's just it's just sitting right past your gag reflex. You swallowed it. It's somewhere like in the middle of like your chest. You could like you could feel it. Okay, you could actually feel it. Okay. The thread you know, you should practice this once or twice. You know, it's pretty easy. You know, you just pull it out with the thread. Okay? You pull it out with the thread, just like that. That's the best way to smuggle drugs in jail or prison. Because once you cough and once you squat, they're kind of done with you. They kind of move you down the assembly line. Okay? Now, this little bit of thread, of white thread, even if it's, even if it's a foot long, Okay, which really doesn't have to be that long. I'm just saying, okay, you, everybody's different. Everybody's anatomy is different. So you're going to have to choose for yourself, okay? But once you swallow it, all you have to do is keep that tucked in the side of your mouth, under your tongue. Okay, they say lift up your tongue. Okay, fine. But if I take a piece of thread and it's looped in like the back of my molar or my wisdom tooth, trust me, it works like a... It works like a charm, okay? They can't see that. They're not looking that close, okay, where they're going to actually, you know, go in that, you know, down your mouth with a flashlight, you know what I'm saying, and like, you know, dental, you know, instruments like, you know, hey, let me see, but what's behind that molar? You got a cavity over there. They're not dentists, okay? They tell you to squat, cough, open your mouth, you know, lift up your tongue, ah, 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 that's it, okay? I learned all that from the medication line in Rikers Island, okay? Because those lines, like I said, they got every single drug. You could you could buy whatever drug you want in prison, okay? If you got the money, you can get whatever you want. You can get sex, drugs, whatever. But the best way to actually, you know, actually get it into prison is not so much swallowing it, shitting it out. That's that's gross to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, who wants to wait two or three days? If a person is dope sick, 
You understand what I'm saying? They're going to want to figure out something to carry in with them. Okay, because they may not have the money for, for bail or to buy methadone or buy spit back drugs or, or, or even get some Benadryl or whatever. Okay, because you go to the psychiatrist, psychiatrists give you whatever you want at Rikers Island. Okay, I mean, I remember one time I went to him, I said I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I didn't wake up for like three days. I woke up, I was like, so when's breakfast? And they said, well, we just finished dinner, you know, and I was like, okay, no more of that. You know, I mean, that, that, that wasn't for me, okay? <laughs> to wake up three days later, that was not cool in my book, <laughs> okay? So that's how you do that, okay? You want to loop it around your back tooth, okay? You want to keep it as close to your gum as you can, okay? Because when they ask you to cough, you're just going <coughs> to and lift up your tongue. It takes, takes less than a second to do that. And they're just not that sharp, okay? The officers are not looking that close. They're not looking all deep inside, okay? So that's my approach on the best way to get drugs in jail or prison other than swallowing it and doing the whole gross thing of like, you know, going through feces and digging and rinsing and all that kind of stuff. To me, that's, that, that's gross. This is Harlem Storm. Till next time, it ain't all good, and it damn sure ain't all easy. See you soon. Hit that like and subscribe button, because I'm trying to get a thousand likes too. Peace. Till next time.